I think it's fun to go in classrooms now. Just seeing some of the ideas that our teachers come up with and some of the products that our students are uh, producing. It's just neat to watch and it's just exciting again. The teachers are much more engaging with students and they're asking more questions. And even though that can be frustrating sometimes because it's harder for students, is that it's definitely gonna help us figure it out for ourselves and learn better. I feel like as if it's the kids teaching the kids, the teacher's there to say what we're doing, but it's our job to figure it out and to work it out and to help other people grow and be able to learn. Like now we care more about like our involvement with our peers, like we all have a job to do and if they don't do it, then it kind of affects us as to where before. If they didn't do it, it wouldn't affect us, so we wouldn't really care where they were at with it. Yeah, I see a major change in myself and some of my friends' grades. I mean, we went from failing a lot of classes last year to being able to pass them this year because we're actually being able to communicate together and work out the problem. The population of students that we work with in an inclusive classroom um, typically have a more difficult time communicating and participating in activities and this year we've really seen growth and some of our students that we wouldn't have expected to take a leadership role and their communication skills have really flourished in the teaming activities and the partner chats that we do. They really have made great gains in that regard. I think the techniques I've been using with from LSI have resulted in more accountability with the students and they're able to show what they know without me needing to be next to them as often or reminding them what they need to do. They know what their responsibilities are and they've taken over. What I mostly like about working in a team, first of all, is that it's we can all cooperate together and even if we're having a respectful disagreement, we overcome it because we all figure out a way together how we can come up with the answer. But another thing is that we're all assigned roles and we can all do our different jobs, and we all have a part in our groups. I've seen a huge change in our students' confidence in the classes. As they're going through their groups or working in teams, I really see taking ownership of their roles in their groups. Having that role and knowing what they're supposed to do and really contributing to the group itself is really boosting that confidence, which in turn is increasing their their achievement level and their grades. The learning this year is different from last year's because we have to do it on our own. It's not the teacher telling us what to do. We have to know what to do when we come into the classroom. Last year the teachers always gave you the answers, but this year you have to figure out what from your on your own or figure out from like a group and get someone else's opinion to change yours. And not only are they taking the ownership for themselves, but they're taking ownership for each other. Um, and they're, they're wanting to step in and they're wanting to say, hey, wait a second, I don't think you really understood that. Let me explain it a different way. It, it's exciting to stand back and not have to say anything because they're actually the ones that are doing the work. Teachers are more thoroughly planning. They're really looking at the standard and I think that it's really important that our instruction is standards based now versus standards referenced and I think that you know every classroom that you walk in it's great you walk in and it is student centered. Usually when we walk into a classroom typically what we see the students doing uh, a lot of partner monitoring a lot of teaming we see a lot of student discussion rich student discussion whereas before we never saw that. My, my own kids attend school here um, and to hear their conversations at home are mimicking the conversations that they're having here. My six-year-old first grader told me that it was okay to have an opinion, but I had to back it up with evidence. And he told me that at the dinner table once. Uh, my favorite part is to be in a team. We don't just sit there, we get to do stuff in. You get to teach your um, partner to help them. Like, tell them what they did wrong and help them fix it. I see them being accountable for themselves and for each other. A couple weeks ago, I watched a student literally teaching another student how to do something. And I watched him hold up a stick of pop cubes and say, how many? And then go through the process of breaking it apart and finding parts and it was just, I just stood there and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, <laughs> you know? You don't know that they can't do it until you give them the chance to try. My kids are five and six and they can do it. <laughs>